Christina Schiano. You might know me from YouTube, where I post drum covers of popular songs. This is Sailor Versus, a series where other creators and I see if we have what it takes to be in the Navy. First, I was challenged to play with the Navy's rock band. And right now, I will be chatting with musician second class Michael Lewis on what it takes to be a Navy musician. Michael, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing great. I wish we could do this in person, but we will take what we can get, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. Now, first off, I want to get into, did you always know that being a musician was even a career in the Navy? Because I certainly did not know that until working on this project with you guys. So a lot of the musicians in the Navy come in a little older than your average sailor, because usually we've played in groups, bands, toured. And as you know, that lifestyle could be <laughs> sort of inconsistent. I was going to school, finishing up my master's. I was 26 and I decided to have a stable job and the Navy provided that. So it just gave me an opportunity to, to have some consistency in my life. That's awesome. I think a lot of people's fear about being a musician is the, like the instability. You don't know how long that can last. You don't know if you're gonna find gigs. But you're right, being in the Navy, that is the stability that you're looking for. So I think yeah. that's really awesome that you found that. Now, what was the audition process like? I saw a flyer at my school advertising the job. Navy drummer needed. You get in contact with the auditions coordinator from the Navy band, and you set up an audition, and um, you play different styles, different grooves. In general, what is the everyday life of a musician in the Navy? There's no typical day as a Navy musician. So when I got in, I said, this is my job, and I play the drums, and it is. But in that job, I'm a drummer, I'm a sailor. We are all responsible for the logistics, the travel, managing flights. We have someone who takes video, who edits the video. So we play music, but the more versatile we are as musicians, the better we could relate to one another in the Navy, and the better we can relate to people who are outside the Navy. Were you always into playing different genres of music, or did you start working your way towards that once you knew you were actually going to be auditioning for this? I grew up playing a lot of other instruments because we didn't have a drum set. So when, when I got into the different styles, whether it was Latin music or funk or R&B or pop or rock, I had a good understanding of it. Nice, see, I grew up and still am playing primarily rock music, punk, metal, a little bit of pop. So Voodoo Groove, the song that me, you, and the brass band are working on right now, that is really putting me out of my comfort zone because I never had to play anything like that. So I give you a lot of props for being able to switch genres so easily. I'm curious as to how you started playing drums and what made you gravitate toward the drum kit. So a lot of people actually don't know this. I started out on guitar as a young eight-year-old, and it hurt my fingers, because you know you have to build up those calluses. So one Christmas, I asked my parents for a drum kit, and they actually got me the drum set. So I've been playing since I was nine years old. Oh, wow. For me, I actually have pretty bad anxiety, so playing the drums was a great release for me to do that and get over that. And then I discovered YouTube, and I figured out how to turn that into a career. That's cool. So I think it's time that we start actually planning out what we're going to be doing on Voodoo Group. I think for me, I think I should stick with the full drum kit, if you're cool with that, because um, I'm bringing the whole like rock drummer element to this. What do you want to do for this song? I, I have my cowbell, so I would just attach the cowbell to, to my bass drum and play a sungle rhythm. I'll be at a drum set as well, but I, I, I have my snares turned off. I love how you're bringing the cowbell. I, as a drummer, as, a, as embarrassing as it is to say, I do not even own a cowbell. <laughs> so it's good that you have one for this song. <laughs> More cowbell. So I, I'll play a, um, a sungo, and that's the cowbell. Pop, 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 right? And I'll add in some, some stuff like that. I think for me, I would be doing like, especially bringing out the accents um, in the song, it would be like. It is a little bit difficult doing this virtually, but right. this is what 
being a musician is like. You have to be flexible, especially you in your career, you have to be very flexible. So technology is great. Right. We're able to still do this and collaborate on a song. I think this is gonna really work out well. So you said you've been in the Navy for quite a few years. What do you think is the most exciting thing that you've gotten to experience? Vietnam was my favorite because we played in front of 5,000 people and afterwards they all loved us because we, we sang in their language and we played their music. So it's a great experience because we're using music as a tool and they see these uniforms and they're kind to us because we play the music that they like. And we often, are, we have our vocalists sing in their language as well. So the ambassador aspect of music in the Navy is heightened. I think as musicians, um, being able to go on a tour or anything is really just such a, a humbling experience because you get to experience so many different cultures. I went on my first tour a few months ago and it was a quick one week in the US. So it's nothing compared to what you just described, <laughs> but it definitely opened my eyes to see different cultures. So I think that's a cool part of our job. We get to really connect people through music. It is humbling because I get to do what I love while serving my country. We boost the morale of both civilian and sailor. And we don't know how much that means until we see that. And we come from all different backgrounds. Now we're all at the same level and we're all doing this together. That really is awesome. I, I truly believe in just the unifying power of music. And that just goes to show how powerful music really is. Thank you so much to MU2 Lewis for speaking with me. I really learned a lot. Thank you, Christina. Be sure to watch more Sailor Verses, where MU2 Lewis and I will be going head-to-head -head in a drum-off you don't want to miss.